Workforce optimization for customer service simplifies requesting time off or ship swaps and approving these requests. Here's how it works. Agents request time off or a shift swap in the CSM agent workspace. The agent's coworker approves or rejects the shift swap request. Managers then approve the time off or shift swap requests submitted by their agents from manager workspace. Let's follow along as Gina, a customer support agent for Acme Corp, requests time off in a shift swap. We're logged in as Gina in the CSM agent workspace where she's opened the calendar. The My Calendar tab displays her shifts and entire schedule, which she can view by the day, week, or month. Other tabs display her team calendar, time off requests, shift swap requests, and shift approvals. Gina would like to take some time off, so she clicks New and selects Time Off. Gina is planning a long weekend vacation starting on the 30th. To request this day off, she enters a title, selects the start and end date, and enters a description. She saves the request. To view her request, she accesses the Time Off Request tab. Here's her request for time off in the requested state, waiting for approval by her manager. Under the My Calendar view, agents can also request a ship swap. Jana wants to have dinner with her family on Sunday the 25th, which means she won't be able to work the morning shift on the 26th. She wants to request a ship swap with some other agent. Before requesting the ship swap, she opens the team calendar and sees who's available. Gina sees that Janice would be working from 5 p.m. till 2 p.m., and this shift suits Gina's plans. So she creates a shift swap request right from the shift. She selects Janice in the agent field, the date, and then submits the request. In the shift swap request tab, she sees that her request has been created and is pending agent approval. In the base system, when a shift swap request is created, it goes to an agent for approval and then to the manager. But this can be customized in Flow Designer by your administrator. Now we'll switch to the CSM agent workspace logged in as Janice to see how she approves or rejects Gina's request. When she opens the calendar view, she sees one shift approval waiting in her queue. She opens the tab, reviews the request, and approves it. Back on Gina's shift swap request page, she can see that Janice approved her request, and the request state changed to pending manager approval. Now let's switch perspectives again. We're logged in as Tracy, the manager of service support. In the schedule page, she can go to shift approvals. Here's the list of all the approvals that have been requested by her team. She opens Gina's shift swap request and approves it. Back on Gina's screen, she can see that her request has been processed. We've seen how workforce optimization for customer service simplifies the process of submitting and approving shift requests. Agents and managers can also manage requests and approvals in the ServiceNow mobile agent when they're on the go. For more information, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.